Okay, welcome back. Um, we are doing a second page today on a lazy Sunday. I'm um, working on um, Hannah Carlson's, uh, this is Summer Nights. Um, I've been working on this page for a while. I keep going back and forth on this page. Um, using polychromos and Koei Nora pencils. But I've gotten, you know, the tree done and some leaves and the mushrooms. So now we're going to work on down here. There are these little squigglies. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a cream polychromos uh, cream. And let me turn that light down a little bit. I've got cream and then I've got um, dark cadmium yellow. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the base of the squiggle down here with the cream and I'm going to fade the orange or the dark cadmium yellow into that. Um, and it's a technique I learned from a video watching Peter Hewitt. So we're going to work on that. So yeah. Kathy, these are polychromos. I'm using my polychromos today. I've been back and forth on this page with polychromos and um, Koinor. So. All right, so what I'm going to do, the first thing I'm going to do, and I know you guys probably can't see very well. I could try and lower the camera. Let me see if I can lower the camera a little bit so it gets a little bit closer. Let's see if I can do this without hubby helping me like last time. Sorry if I shake the camera, guys. I can't remember which way to turn it. Okay, wait, there we go. Let me see how close I can get. All right, let me, I'll fix it. Hold on. Okay. That's definitely better. Definitely better. Okay, now let me go back and hold on. I've got to focus it again. Auto focus and then turn it off. Okay, there we go. All right, that's a little better, right? You can see a little closer. Okay, so I've got a cream polychromos. We're going to start with that. And I'm just going to work. Hopefully you guys can see this. I'm just going to do everything in cream first. Sorry, I've got to turn my light up. I can't, I can't see. Sorry. Do everything in a light base of green of cream excuse me cream and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the dark cadmium yellow and I'm just going to gently flick the dark cadmium yellow up into the top of this squiggly thing and I'm going to color this whole squiggly thing with the cadmium yellow and then flick down lightly through the base, okay? And this is just the first step, guys. And I might use a darker color. Now I'm going to go back with the cream, going up from the base, try to blend in just on, just on that. All right, so now that to me doesn't have enough color in it. So I'm going to go with a little bit darker of a, a little bit darker of an orange. So I'm going to step up to, this is dark chrome yellow. I need to sharpen it though. Aren't y'all proud of me? I'm using my polychroma. I've been using them a lot. You see all these shavings in here? <laughs> I'm okay with it now. I've got the full set because now I can just replace each pencil as, as I need to. Okay. All right. 
I know, Ange. Are you passing out? Okay, same thing. I'm going to just... I'm going to color the darker color up top. And I'm using light to medium pressure up here, guys. Because I want this whole top part to be the darker of the orange. And then I'm just going to flick that darker orange down the base. Okay. So... You guys see that okay? Um, what I did is, um, Orla, I had a set of 60 polychromos. I went ahead and ordered the other 60 open stock through Blick Art. Um, so now I have a full set of 120. So yes, whenever I need a pencil replaced, I can just re replace them individually through Blick Art. So. Okay, now I'm going to take the cream and I'm going to go back up the, the stem again. Just try to blend and flick a little bit. Okay. All right, let me bring it up a little bit so you can see. Oh, it's going to be hard because I've got my my thing right in the way. But So you've got a base of a cream and then it goes up into the orange. Now, me being picky like I am, that's still not dark enough for me up here. <laughs> so I'm going to go with one shade darker. Let's see. This is cadmium orange, and if you see the two, the one on the right is the cadmium. They're pretty close to the same color, so let's see if I'm happy with that color. Huh, that is weird, Jean. Yeah, I was surprised you said you were hearing stuff, because, I mean, my husband, being an IT guy, he set all this up for me because he was tired of listening to the hums on my <laughs> on my recordings. So he said this would help if I got a really good microphone. Okay, so that's definitely adding a little bit more color. So now I'm just flicking some of the orange down. Because you want it to have a little bit of a gradient. I don't want it to be cream and then orange. So you want it to fade into the base a little bit so you guys still see what I'm doing so there you go and that's a little bit a little bit darker so yeah so that's what we're gonna do with all of the little squigglies. I don't know if you want me to sit here and do that repeatedly. Um, that's gonna be pretty boring. Um, I'll probably do one more. Why don't we do this one over here next to it? Do the base in the cream. Again, not not a lot of pressure because there you want to layer it. Okay, so there's the base. And then I'm gonna take the dark chrome yellow first. And flick that color down the stem. And this is, like I said, this is just how I do it, guys. You guys can do it how you want. Then I'm gonna take the cream and go back over just to blend a little bit and then take the darkest color which is the um, cadmium orange um, I 
I'm reading chat, guys. Sorry. Oh, uh, you should try it on your stream, Gene, for sure. Okay. So like I said, the darker orange up here, and then you're just going to flick it down the stem. Now this is harder to do, in my opinion, because this is a real small area to do this. Um, so it is going to be a little bit more time consuming. Now I'm taking the cream and flicking it up the stem so there's a little bit more of a, a gradient there. Okay, so, but you guys get, get the idea. You get um, a little bit of a, of a gradient there and I can always add a darker, a little bit of a darker orange at the top of this. Um, if I want to, if I want to, okay, so, all right, so I'll keep those three colors out. Now I need to decide what colors to do, um, these long leaves. Um, I do have a um, light green and dark green on these leaves, so I need to think of a different color for for these leaves, like the long these. Any ideas, guys? Remember, the background back here is going to be a dark blue. Um, Hmm. You know what? I could probably do, I know Jean said teals. I could probably do a light to medium color teal and then that won't affect the dark blue background. I could probably do that if you think a teal would be good. It actually would look good next to the orange, wouldn't it? Maybe I'll do that. Okay, let me find a light, kind of like a turquoise. Let's test some stuff out, guys. There's a light turquoise. And that could be blended up. Hmm. Okay, that's light cobalt turquoise. That's that's cobalt green. And then this is the cobalt turquoise. Oh, that's dark. That's too dark. Just looking at blues, guys. Just looking at blues. Oh no. Uh, are you guys frozen, really? Hopefully you're not. All right, so yeah, I think I'm gonna go with um, a light cobalt turquoise on these long stems. We're gonna make that the top color. I'm gonna switch it where the lighter color is gonna be at the top of, of, the, of the leaf, and then the darker color will be down at the base. I just need to find the, the darker color which I think it's going to have to be this color because I don't want it to be too dark. Okay. Yeah, these two will work. Okay. All right, let me sharpen. And then I gotta figure out what color to do the uh, all these little 
balloon looking ornament things down here. You guys can see that. All these little things. So yeah. Okay. All right, let's, why don't we do the one that's behind the orange? Cause I want to see what that's going to look like. Okay. I'm just going to do a light base. Oh shoot. Tag nabbit. I, I think I wanted to do the cream. Oh, that's all right. I don't know if I want to do the cream or not actually. No, I'm going to do, do it all in the, in the blue. So I'm just doing a, a base of the, this is, um, light cobalt turquoise. You always want to do a base of your lightest color on the whole thing. Um, or I do, like I said, personal opinion. Okay, good. All right. I was going to freak out if you guys were, were actually frozen. Okay. So I know you guys can't see this. It's probably pretty faded for you. Um, all right. So that was the, um, light cobalt turquoise. Now on the base of each of these squigglies, I'm going to use cobalt green. And I want this bottom area to be darker and then we're going to flick the dark color up into the stem. So here we go. We're going to, Oh, that's chipped a little. Whoops. Fix that. Got a little chip on the bottom. Um, Gonna flick that dark color up, and then I'm gonna make this. I'm gonna fill in the dark color down at the bottom. So you guys can see that, right? Okay. This is where you just want to gently like lighter as you go towards the top because you want the top color to be the light color. All right. So see how it's darker on the bottom and it gets lighter at the top. So now you want to take your lighter color, the uh, light cobalt turquoise and go over all of it. And you can flick the lighter color down into the darker color. So that way there's a little bit of a gradient. And then you just want it to be a little bit lighter at the top. And it takes a lot of playing with this guys. I mean, to get it to the level that you want. So like, I don't think that's dark enough there. So I'm going to take the darker and add a little bit more pressure. Sorry if I'm getting quiet. Okay. And then there's the light color. Well, I have to say, I think, I think Jean was right using the, the lighter color blues down here. So, all right. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let's 
so you've got the darker blue at the bottom and then it fades up into the lighter blue. Thanks guys. Like I said, I'm just gonna sit here and color so you guys can chat, do do whatever. But this is I was gonna work on this tonight anyway, while I was watching whoever streamed. Um I think actually Jess said she wanted to stream this afternoon. Um she's an hour behind me, but I think she wanted to stress too. Yes, that is what I said, Jean. You were right. And I appreciate your feedback on colors on this page. I really do. Because I'm, I'm new to coloring. Well, I mean, I've been doing it for about a year, year and a few months. But, yeah. All right. So, look, even if I wanted to have an even darker base. See, I like dark, bright colors. I'm going to take a cobalt turquoise at the very bottom here just make that a little bit darker and then just flick it a little bit right there you guys probably can't even see that but yeah I'm trying to keep my face out of the camera too Now, I'll say that to you, Jean, that you were right. I'm not going to say that to to Eileen. Because I don't think Eileen has been right on any argument that we've had. <laughs> but we don't really argue. We just, you know, just mess with each other. So I think that'll look pretty. You're going to have an orange, a teal. These are actually purple and pink. I know you can't see that with the light. Um, and then you're different greens over here so I think that'll look pretty with a midnight blue background and I've got a snail up here and some more some more stuff so let me do I'm gonna do the other blue behind this orange here I'm just gonna do the light color blue first So yeah, I know Jess said she wanted to stream because um, she got some new stuff. So whenever she's around or if somebody wants to tweet her and ask her if she's ready to stream, um, she can stream before Debbie. Because I think Debbie might stream tonight around 7, did you say around 7 or so? So yeah. All right, so there's your light blue. I'm sorry, your light cobalt turquoise. Oh, that sounds fun, Dorothy. <sighs> All right, so now I've got my um, Cobalt green. We're going to put that at the base. I'm going to do it a little different this time since I added a third color to the mix. I'm going to color it in darker at the bottom and then flick the color up. And the reason that I flick the color is because it doesn't leave such a harsh um, uh, transition. I had to think for a minute. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna go with our dark color, which is cobalt turquoise. 
is the darkest color down at the bottom. These pencils are great, guys. They blend beautifully. All right, more pressure at the base to make it darker, less pressure as you go up. And then I'm going to take the lightest color, which is the um, light cobalt turquoise, and go over all of it just to get rid of any white lines and to hopefully establish that gradient. And the lightest being at the top. dark enough for me right there. Yeah, I think, I think that's going to look good, guys. Oh, thanks, Kathy. You're welcome. Yeah. What? One of the books you bought at Michael's has pages in it already colored? Oh, that's not good. All right, so I will work on these two um, color, um, these two colors, the aqua and the orange. I'll work on those tonight. Um, but I do need to figure out what color to do these. Excuse me, guys. Hold on. Ooh, that's what caught my throat. Okay. Um, I do need to figure out what color to do these balloons down here, so, <laughs> excuse me, yeah, yeah, oh, I'm going to text Jess and see um, if she wants to stream now. Because she did say she wanted to stream later in the afternoon. It's 4.40 for me here, so that means it's 3.40 for her. Um, yeah. So anyway, I'm going to stop this recording. I just wanted to show you guys how I did my um, leaves, per se, with the gradient. Um, so you could see that. And like I said, I'll work on this, and hopefully I'll get the page done, hopefully, next week. So... I'm going to stop the recording. So those of you on YouTube, I really appreciate it. Hope this helps you out a little bit. And I will catch you guys again real soon.